tips and tricks for the cat 440 every time you start it the hydraulics will be disabled that is with this switch here so after starting you have to press that button to enable your hydraulic controls when facing forward the right joystick runs your front implement just like it has in the past the left is dead at this point if you need to use the back control for the backhoe attachment there is a button over here on your right hand side that you have to press if you look you can see it's right now the green is lit up for the front bucket but if I press this it turns this green light on at this point there is a momentary switch on the left joystick if you press it, it changes that light from the front to the backhoe bucket. If I let off, you can see it's back to the front. So as long as I have the left button, trigger button depressed, I have control of the backhoe right now. As you can see, I can stick out in with the uh, control. Once I let off, I'm back to the front. So if you're stuck, it gives you the option to run the backhoe buckets. One other quick thing to note, in order to use the back uh, bucket, your steering wheel has to be fully stowed in the forward position before if we spin around. The control is uh, on the backhoe. Again, my green light is still lit. And if I pull the trigger, it will illuminate the front bucket uh, and the back because now just the right control is for the front. As you can see, I can boom up and boom down with that. And as soon as I let go, it goes back. One thing to note, if you cycle back and forth two times between front and back, it will disable uh, the dual mode uh, momentary switch. So if you want to use it, you'll have to press it again.